What is cognitive computing? Cognitive computing is the replication of human thought processes in a computerized environment. Cognitive computing involves self-learning systems which indulge in data mining, pattern recognition, and natural language processing to imitate the way the human brain works. The goal of cognitive computing is to create automated computerized systems that are capable of solving problems without any human help or interference. Let's see, in detail what cognition, in cognitive computing means. Cognition, is the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge, and understanding through experience, thought, and senses. Cognitive process use existing knowledge, and generate new knowledge. The concept of cognition, is closely related to abstract concepts such as mind, and intelligence, like understanding the function of a human brain, and handling human kind of problems. Combination of technologies, to understand human interaction, and provide answers. Cognitive computing systems use, machine learning algorithms. Such systems continually acquire knowledge from the data. It is a category of technologies that uses natural language processing, and machine learning, to enable people and machines to interact more naturally. A cognitive system must be, adaptive, interactive, iterative, stateful, and contextual. Three major layers in cognitive computing architecture are, executive layer, planner and simulation. Coordination layer, diagnose, model base, monitor, and executor. Execution layer, effectors and preceptor. Let's analyze, the basic architecture through this diagram. Watson, is an artificially intelligent computer system capable of answering questions, posed in natural language. Watson is developed in IBM's project. Cognitive-based systems, such as IBM Watson, are able to build knowledge and learn. They also understand natural language, and can reason with, and interact more naturally with human beings, than traditional systems. The goal of cognitive computing, is to create automated IT systems, that are capable of solving problems without requiring human assistance. Even in the case of IBM Watson, IBM says that the goal is to have computers, start to interacting in natural human terms, across a range of applications and processes. Also understanding the questions that humans ask and providing answers that humans can understand and justify. Main explored field, which are benefiting from cognitive computing are, cognitive computing is making agriculture more productive. Cognitive computing is making cars smarter. Cognitive computing is making our homes and offices more secure, as well as our borders. In healthcare the data explosion is happening. Medical data are expected to double every 73 days by 2020. The great unknown, 80% of health data are invisible to current systems, because they are unstructured. A quick study reveals, IBM Watson can read 40 million documents in 15 seconds. Conclusion If research into strong artificial intelligence, produce sufficiently intelligent software, it might be able to reprogram and improve itself. The improved software would be even better at improving itself, leading to recursive self-improvement. The new intelligence could thus increase exponentially, 
and dramatically surpass humans. This will give birth to technological singularity. And many predicts, technological singularity, will be the beginning of the end of mankind.